finally, Los Angeles and San Diego get a little bit of rainfall out there. It's been a drought oh, over yeah. Southern California. Just if only, terrible. If only we could send our rain over to California. Uh, unfortunately, it's going to all head this way. <laughs> okay, thanks, Tim. Thank you for being so pacific about it, too. We appreciate it. <laughs> so much. Oh, it's awful, but it's free. And I think more importantly, <laughs> coming up here in a couple of minutes, yeah. we're going to take you not only to Oxford to see what the Redskins did today, mm -hmm. but also high school basketball tonight and the Reds down in Plant City. Back to Florida. Oh, it's a tour de force. A plethora of things yeah, originating of from the sports department tonight, and you're welcome to join us in just a moment. A lot of stuff, too. Oh, buddy. The Daily Tabloid has been crippled by a four-month-old strike, and tonight the publisher says if the nine striking unions fail to grant contract concessions by Monday, he'll decide whether to close the 71-year-old paper. I was just in New York uh, a little while ago and got to see some of the, the pickets out there, and the newsstands aren't even carrying it. It's a real ugly situation in New York. It's a shame to lose it, too, isn't it? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a big paper. Sure it is. It's a shame what happened in Oxford tonight, too. Yeah, they didn't do so well, I did mean, they? This is, you know, this is like, this is very traumatic because the Miami could have had its own yeah. destiny in its own hands here, but it's over. I'm, the Miami's got no shot of finishing first in the MAC. For, the, for openers, Eastern beat Kent tonight. Wait a minute, it gets worse. The Skins got skunked tonight by Central. Come on, let's go up to Millet Hall and take a look at Matt Kramer nailing a three-pointer. He had 25 tonight. Miami down by 14 at the half, but they come rambling back. Kramer with the jumper. Miami with a one-point lead here. Now, five seconds to go. Darian McKinney misses the free shot, sinks the second one, ties the game at 72. We're in overtime. Where Scott was the hot shot for Miami. He had eight of their 13 overtime points. Miami by one, 15 seconds to go, but at the buzzer, Sean Waters wins it. Central Michigan, the winner tonight in Oxford, the final. Central 86, Miami 85. Let's go to the college numbers now. In the top 25 tonight, number eight, Duke has beaten Clemson. Number 18, LSU, new problem tonight with Florida. Number 20, Seton Hall, a loser tonight to Connecticut in the Big East. Mississippi State tonight beats Auburn down south. Out in Oklahoma tonight, look at Sean Sutton, the son of a coach. Down to Johnny Pittman. Oh, my goodness. Oklahoma State in a rumble with Nebraska. Danny Knee used to be the boss at OU. Now coach Nebraska, but tonight Sutton too much. Inside of Byron Houston. Sutton Sr. and Jr. bring knee to his knees tonight, the final. Oklahoma State 80 and Nebraska 69. Now, one of these days, it's going to be all over for Paul Fry. He's the elder basketball coach, and he's retiring when the season is over. But tonight, Hans Fry lives for another day. Elder has beaten Taft. Let's check out Elder's big gun, Bobby Westerkamp. Watch him get the pass. Nail the fadeaway jumper. Westerkamp can work inside, too. Watch him on the drive for two of his 18 as Elder moves on. And Taft goes home. Elder, the 67-49 winner tonight. Let's go to the big numbers. Besides that, at the Shoemaker Center tonight, Aiken, Rob, that's where you went to school. Hey. I keep seeing the commercial. They keep talking about it. <laughs> Aiken beats Milford tonight, moves on to the Division I playoffs. In Division II at Anderson tonight, by a bucket. Turpin over Forest Park, and Roger Bacon over Goshen, 77-54 to the final. Kentucky boys now. Let's take a look at the 33rd district. Connor was all over Walton Verona tonight. In the 34th district, holy crossover Dixie Heights. In the 35th district, Newport was the winner. 36th district tonight, Brossard over Silver Grove. In the girls' playoff action tonight, Connor tonight over Walton Verona. Dixie Heights has beaten Holy Cross. In the 35th district girls, Newport was a five-point winner tonight. And Brossard by five over Silver Grove. Hey, I got a boo to lay on you tonight. You know when you're in the big time, you got to finish everything. When you got the highway open for a dunk, you got a dunk. Let's go to Philly, where tonight against the 76ers, Atlantis, Kevin Wilson, absolutely blows it. Watch this. Oh, that's awful. He gets set up like a good buddy who needs a blind date, and Kevin Willis blows it. Boo to the Atlanta Hawks, Kevin Willis tonight. And worse, Dallas beats his team 108 to 104. All right, our latest La Rosa's Athlete of the Week. Tonight, the kid who's got all of Northern Kentucky talking, and the best part about him, he's just a pup. At six feet one and 150 pounds, St. Henry's Robbie Paget doesn't look like much of a player, but when you look at the scorebook, well, you better have the oxygen close by. 
He's not going to scare anybody to death by appearance. You know, it's, it's like I like to say, whenever you look uh, in the scorebook and see what he did, then, then you, you really realize what a force he is out there. He is a force out there. Check the numbers. 26 and a half points per game, tops in the region. 78% from the line. 54% from two-point range and 49% from three. But this kid is modest about it. We're averaging 90, 92 points a game, and I average 26 of them without the other people in the locker room and on, out there on the floor. We're, we're nothing. Other people may be out there, but Rob is the man. The coach says so, and even Rob agrees, though it took a while. I had trouble at first, but then I realized what I had, had to do and uh, help our team to do a job that we've been doing this year. And he'll be doing that job for a long time because Rob is only a sophomore. He's got two years to play. It'll be longer than that, though, before we see another La Rosa Athlete of the Week like Robbie Padgett. Every once in a while, you'll run into one who, you know, is just meant to play basketball. And when I see Robbie Padgett playing basketball, I see... I see smoothness out there. I see a, a person who looks like he was he was meant to, to be on a basketball floor. And he was. 26 and a half Shoot. points per game is what he's averaging. No major news today from Plant City. The Reds had the full squad in practice, and they'll continue that through next Friday, which is when the first exhibition game is. Yeah. All right, Ken. Fast. Thanks. Thanks. Just ahead tonight, 